There are numerous ways to import or sync your customer data into Intercom. The most straightforward is to import a CSV file with at the very minimum, a column for their name and their email address. But you can also include other types of data. Let's take a look. Head over to Contacts and click New Users or Leads. These two options allow you to import users or leads individually, like people you met at an event, but in this example, we're going to import a list of customers. So we'll choose Import People. There are a few options open to us here, but we're going to go with a CSV file because it will give us the best control over the customer attributes we import. You can import contacts as leads if you have a prospect list, but in our case, we're importing our product's users. So we'll pick Import Users and just drag and drop your CSV file and click Upload. Keep in mind that there's a file size limit of 20 megabytes. So if it's more than that, you'll need to split it up into separate lists. Next, follow the prompts to match data with the right attributes. First, email. Then, user ID. Then, full name. And sign up date. I don't have a column for phone numbers in my CSV, so we'll skip this step. If you've got additional columns with data that doesn't match these standard attributes that Intercom already recognizes, like our last contacted column here, you'll be invited to create them as custom attributes. Give it a name and make sure to use the right data type. In this case, it's a date. We'll discuss standard and custom attributes in more detail in a future lesson. Once all our data columns are matched to attributes, we're ready to import our users. A tag will automatically be applied to each user so you'll know when they were uploaded. But it's a good idea to create a more descriptive tag that will help you find this group easily when you need to send a bulk message or a proactive support campaign relevant to this customer group. All right, let's hit import users. And when it's finished, hit close. And there we go, our user list. And because we've taken the time to map data correctly, we can filter this list and save useful segments that teammates can use for targeted messaging and actions in the future, ensuring more personalized and impactful customer support.